Welcome back to the channel. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you real easily how you can make a eye rig. Now this eye rig assumes that you have a character with some eyes and you're ready to rig it. Now I'll just quickly mention, even though we're just focusing on setting up this eye rig, um, the bone that we'll be adding in here is the head bone. But if you already have an existing character rig and you just wanna add this system here, it's really simple because all character rigs, even really simple ones, are gonna have a head bone in the head. So the only thing you would do differently in this tutorial if you had a character rig already existing is you would just add these bones here and skip adding this one here. And just make sure the parenting is all the same. But don't worry, if this sounds confusing, it's not. We're gonna go step by step, adding in all of these bones. So you could either use your own character or just use two eyeballs that you have. These two here are just some simple spheres that I added a texture to. And you can see this rig is really, really simple. It's not the most complicated eye rig. It doesn't have the most control but it can definitely help you out in a pinch. It's really powerful for how simple it is. So let's jump in and make this really simple eye rig in Blender 4.4. So to demonstrate this with, I just have these two spheres that I've rotated and they're in the front view, as you can see here, and I've just slapped a simple eye texture on them. Now, obviously you are probably watching this tutorial because you have your own character with some eyes that you wanna rig. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure in this case, um, like I'm assuming your character will probably be central to the scene. So in your front orthographic view, you'd probably be looking at right at your character. So what you would do in that case, you'd go shift A and you'd go down to your armature and add in just an armature. So you can see here we have a single bone in the center in between the two eyes. Now, if you had a body rig, this bone in the middle, so let's go into edit mode. This bone in the middle would be your head bone. Okay, this would be the bone that rotates and controls your head. So the eyes are gonna be parented to that. So in this case, I'm gonna make this big by pulling up this nub. So this would be my head bone. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over to the bone properties over here, and I'm just gonna call it head. And then what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go back into object mode. And you can see I have two eyes, and they're exactly in the front view, they're exactly opposite to each other. Now the important thing is when you're working with eyes, is you wanna make sure that your origin point sits right in the middle of your object. Now, because I just added in some UV spheres, you can see if I double tap R to rotate, it just rotates around the middle perfectly. Okay, you don't want something like this, where the origin point is offset. So when you double tap R, it does that. That means it's not right. You wanna make sure your origin point sits in the middle. Okay, in that case, once you select it, your eyes, let's start by selecting the left eye. And even though it might be in your right view, it is the left eye of the character. So we always look at it from that perspective. So we're gonna go selected and we're gonna go shift S and we're gonna go cursor to selected. And now it adds the cursor, the 3D cursor exactly in the middle of the eye. That way we can select a head bone and we can go back into edit mode and go shift A. So shift A and it adds in a bone. If I go into wireframe, you can see it. If you want this to be a bit simpler, you can always go to your properties here put a bone and you can go to the viewport display and you can make it in front. That way you can always see through the mesh. So I'm gonna select this tip and just drag it straight up on the Z, okay? And then what I wanna do, I'm gonna come over here to the transform pivot, change it to 3D cursor, then select this whole bone. And then I'm gonna go into my right orthographic view by pressing free on the number pad. And in the right orthographic view, I'm gonna go R minus nine zero and hit enter. So R minus nine zero, and it's rotated 90 degrees now like this, facing forward like this, the pointy end as you can see. Now, instead of having to do that on the other side, we'll just mirror it over later. So for now, what we'll do is with this bone selected, we're gonna go over to our bone properties down here, and let's call it I dot capital L. Now the dot capital L is super important. Don't misspell it. You wanna make sure it's dot capital L, not underscore, not slash. It has to be dot capital L. And that'll come in handy later. Then what we're gonna do is with this bone selected, still, we're gonna go shift D to duplicate and then go Y and move it forward along the Y. And then we're gonna come here and change this back to median point under the transform. And with this new bone selected, just go S to scale it down a bit. Doesn't have to be too big. And with this bone, we're gonna go to our bone properties and we'll call this I underscore look at, you can call it whatever you want, as long as you understand. But the main important thing is that you do the dot capital L on the end, okay? 
So dot capital L, very important. What you're gonna do then is you're gonna select the eye bone, holding in shift, you're gonna select the head bone. Then you're gonna go control P and you can go object keep offset. So now this is parented to the head. What we wanna do as well, is you we wanna select these two bones here, not the head bone, just these two bones with the dot L extension, okay? And with them both selected, you wanna to go to armature, and then you wanna to go to symmetrize. And it should symmetrize it perfectly on the other side. We're now gonna go shift S, and we're just gonna go cursor to world origin, so our cursor is back in the middle. And then let's select this head bone. We're gonna go Shift D to duplicate and then Y, move it forward and let's go S to scale it down so it's small. Now we can select the right look at, as you can see here, so the right look at and holding in Shift, select the left look at bone. So these two bones. And then while you're still holding in Shift, select the middle bone here that we've created. And then go Control P and then go Keep Offset. Now let's select this new middle bone we've created. Let's go to our bone properties and instead of having it head.001, we'll call it main I underscore con for control. So this is our control bone. With it selected, hold in shift and select the head bone. Go control P and then go keep offset like so. And now this is all really good. So if we go now into pose mode, right? What we want to do, if we select this bone here, the middle one, we should be able to go G and move it. And then these two bones here look at these little look at bones. So we need to add some constraints to make this work. So let's select the look at on the left side. Holding in shift, select the bone we want to control, which is going to be the eye. So select this one first, holding in shift, select the eye dot L last. Then go control shift and C. So control shift C or Command Shift C if you're using a Mac, and then come here to Tracking and make a damped track. So now if I select this bone over here and I go G to move it, you can see that I looks right at it, okay? So let's do the same on the other side. Let's select this small little bone here on the right, holding in Shift, select the I, secondly, then go Control Shift and C, so Control Shift C, and let's make a damped track. So now if I select this middle bone, you can see they both go along, or I can just control it individually like this. How cool is that? Now to actually make the eyes go along, that's really simple. So let's go into object mode. You're gonna select your eye, holding in shift, you're gonna select the rig. Then you're gonna go into pose mode and then click on the eye bone here. Then go control P and just do a direct bone parent. Then go over into object mode, select the other eye, holding in shift, select the rig and then go into pose mode. Click on the other eye bone here, control P, and then just a bone parent as well. Click on that. So now it's directly parented to the bone. So now if we select this bone over here, and we go G to move it, you can see the eyes go wherever we want them to go. And if we select our head bone, everything else goes along. And this will be incorporated in the rest of your character rig. So once you already have a simple rig with a head bone, and just about every character rig has a head bone, you just add these bones essentially. So the only thing you do differently is skip adding in the head. So I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you guys next time and thank you for watching.